Hello, this is Dr. Getty Chimeka Anyawoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Louisiana, USA. Today, we are going to be continuing on our series of discussions on sexually transmitted diseases, STDs. Our fourth topic on the series is on syphilis. So, what is syphilis? Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacteria known as Treponema pallidum. How many people get syphilis in the United States? According to the CDC, there were about 115,045 newly diagnosed cases of syphilis of all stages in the United States in 2018. This is compared to about 38,739 newly diagnosed HIV infection in the United States in 2017. Most of the cases of syphilis happen in men who have sex with men, accounting for about 77.6% of all the primary and secondary syphilis cases. It is reported that recently, the rates of primary and secondary syphilis has been increasing in both heterosexuals and men who have sex with men. About 1,306 cases of congenital syphilis were reported in the United States in 2018. In comparison, about 73 cases of perinatal HIV was reported in the United States in 2017. The cases of congenital syphilis is higher in the black and Hispanic mothers than in white mothers. Reducing the risks of syphilis. To reduce the risk of getting syphilis, we can do the following. Number one, use condoms every time you have sex to prevent the transmission. Number two, Practice long-term mutually monogamous relationship and ensure that you and your partner are tested for syphilis and are negative. Three, abstinence. Now, in addition, all pregnant women should be tested for syphilis at the first prenatal visits. The following groups should be tested frequently for syphilis if they are sexually active. If they have partners who have previously tested positive for syphilis. If the partner is HIV positive and if it is a man having sex with men. So what are the symptoms of syphilis? Sometimes the signs and symptoms of syphilis may not be noticed. Some other times the signs and symptoms may be mild. Now, generally, the signs and symptoms of syphilis usually depends on the stage of the syphilis. We have four stages of syphilis. Stage one is the primary stage, also known as primary syphilis. You can find the sore or sores at the initial site of infection. For example, it could be found in the mouth or in the genitals or in the anus. The sore or sores may be painless. They may be round. They may be firm, not necessarily always. Number two, the secondary stage, which is also known as secondary syphilis. The symptoms here may be fever, lymph node swelling, and skin rash. Number three, the latent stage, also known as latent syphilis. This stage of syphilis may have no signs or symptoms at all. Number four, the tertiary stage, also known as tertiary syphilis. The manifestation of signs and symptoms of syphilis may be serious to include affecting the brain called neurosyphilis or the eyes or the heart and other organs of the body in this tertiary stage. Memory loss and or dementia may also occur. Let us talk particularly about neurosyphilis and ocular syphilis. At any stage during the infection, Neurosyphilis can occur in the nervous system and in the brain or in the eye. The symptoms of neurosyphilis may include paralysis, mental disorder to include dementia, numbness, difficulty coordinating muscle movements, and severe headache. 
Symptoms of ocular syphilis may include visual changes, blindness. So how is syphilis spread? Some people with syphilis may have sores on the lips or in their mouth or the vagina or in the penis or in the rectum or anus. Syphilis can be directly spread via contact with the syphilis sore during oral or vagina or anal sex. You can also have syphilis as an infection from a mother to her unborn baby. This is known as congenital syphilis. Now let's talk about treatment of syphilis. Syphilis can be cured with the particular targeted antibiotic. If there is already damage to an organ as a result of the infection, that damage will remain even after treatment. Diagnosis can be from blood tests and sometimes fluid from the syphilis sore. Does syphilis reinfect? One can be reinfected after successfully curing syphilis if they are exposed again to an infected individual with the syphilis. It is necessary to make sure you and your partner are properly treated before you re-engage in sexual activity. For more information, you can contact your healthcare provider or you can visit www.stdassessment.com or email help at stdassessment.com. What are the possible consequences if syphilis is left untreated? Number one, see the symptoms I have mentioned above. Number two, an untreated pregnant woman can transfer it to the unborn baby. Number three, sometimes there may not be any signs or symptoms and if the baby is not treated, there may be serious medical issues to include seizure disorder, deafness, cataracts and even death. For further information, please check out www.stdassessment.com or email help at stdassessment.com. Once again, I remain Dr. Getty Chimeka Anyamoke. I'm an infectious disease physician and I practice in Louisiana, USA. Thank you.